Hi, this is Mr. Tucker. I'm making this short video with some slides to introduce to you the uh, new grading system uh, that's taking place at BLS for, for the remainder of the year. Um, we all got the letter. Hopefully you got the, the email from the administration of Muscat on, I think, Thursday of last week. Uh, and so I'm just kind of going over my understanding of it and contextualizing it within the grade eight science class. So um, you're getting a numerical grade, you're earning a numerical grade for term three. Uh, what you had up to March 16th, now nearly two months ago, but uh, what you had up to March 16th, um, if all your work was complete, up to date, uh, your grade is whatever number you see when you look on SIS even today is that grade. Uh, so that grade, um, can be influenced by the work you're doing during this remote learning phase um, in, in one of two ways, most likely. Um, so the first way, option one, is your grade would just stay the same. If it turns out that your participation in this is uh, ins insufficient or unsatisfactory um, for whatever reason, of course, of course, but uh, then it would just stay the same. Um, option two is that your grade um, could increase. Um, how much it increases depends on um, the work that you do. So if you're showing satisfactory participation in this, which would mean completing the classwork, as I say, and regularly attending the remote learning classes, um, then your grade could go up in one of four ways. Um, option A is that you are completing, you have completed or will have completed 50% of the assignments with uh, earning a P, passing score. Um, so if that's the case, if you've earned, if you've gotten 50% of your assignments as P, then your grade would be increased by five points. So for example, of course, from 78% would go to an 83%. Um, for the work to be P as of last week, the last assignment was just completed with the clear um, expectations. Uh, has to be on time and complete. Um, so if it's completed on time, it'll earn a P. And um, if it's incomplete or late, it'll earn an NI. Um, and moving on to the second option, B, uh, the way that your grade could increase is that if you have at least 75% of your assignments have end up earning a P, then uh, your grade could increase by 10 points. So that 78 would then become an 88. Um, and option C, the third option for this grade increase is if you complete all of the classwork. So if you earn a P for 100% of the assignments, um, then your grade will go up by 15 points, which would make that 78 turn into a 93. Um, and finally, for option D, if you complete 100% of the assignments during remote learning, earning a P, um, and it seems as though you are exceeding expectations. So if it's uh, the term we have here, excuse me, I'm, I'm exceeding expectations. I can try, excuse me for not finding the term, but then you would be earning 20 extra points for your grade. So that 78 would then become a 98. Um, so for work to exceed expectations as of week seven, so that's right now, this week that's just started, um, score must be received, um, sorry, scored work must receive a high score according to the teacher's criteria. And for example, this work for this week, the mini poster for the hierarchy of ecosystems, um, there's a rubric that's in the Google Classroom. You see there, we're gonna go over it in class on, the, on your second class day. Um, and so that rubric you need to earn your work would need to earn a high score in order for this to be considered exceeding expectations, just as one example. So you'll have rubrics or criteria for success um, moving forward on these assignments, of course, in order for you to understand what would be involved with um, exceeding expectations, but certainly quite simply meeting expectations and earning 100% P's um, would get you 15 points uh, increase on your term three grade. So again, from a 78 to a 93, um, that was the third option. So <clears throat> if you have any questions about how this relates to science specifically, please email me or call me, my cell phone or 
come to my uh, open office hours, which are again Thursday afternoons from 2.30 to 3.30. Uh, or I can set up time to meet with you some other time on a Zoom. If you'd like, please just let me know. Um, but above all, take care and be well.